Hello, Danae here, and thank you for watching this video. And remember to subscribe and click the bell so that you know when I put out new videos. Today we are making jambalaya, and it's just a sim simple smoked sausage and chicken jambalaya. This is an easy recipe that you can make ahead and you can kind of graze off of it all week. We're gonna start with um, a little bit of butter in the pan. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of um, canola oil or vegetable oil. I'm using canola oil and we're gonna heat this up. Then I'm going to add my, my uh, smoked meats and my vegetable and my chicken and cook that add my seasonings and rice and then put the lid on and cook it down. It is a simple recipe. Anybody can do this. And let's get that butter melting. And we're using about four ounces of butter. The recipe will be, be below the video. And please, if you have any questions, let me know. Now, my jambalaya is a traditional jambalaya. I don't use any tomatoes or anything in it. It is an excellent side dish, or you can use it as a main dish. And I'm going to use about four ounces of uh, meats. And I'll just tell you as I put them in, I'm going to use about four ounces of, this is just diced ham. And four ounces is about a half a cup. Then I'm going to use about four ounces of the um, skinless kielbasa sausage. And you can use turkey sausage, you can use pork sausage, you can use the bulk sausage you like. But this is what I'm using. And again, about a half a cup. And then of course, my favorite, I'm going to put in about a half cup of andouille sausage. And this is a Cajun sausage, kind of spicy, depends on where you purchase it from. You know, some sausages are spicier than others. And what we're gonna do is just cook this sausage down. And this is gonna be on a medium high heat. Now, as this cooks down, I'm going to add my chicken thighs, and I'm not going to use all of this. I'm only going to use about half because I don't want, it's got a lot of meats in it. And so, yeah, that's plenty. And this is one of those recipes where, I'm going to be honest with you, you can, wow, if you're cooking for a football team, you can make more. The measurements are not exact, but I can tell you it's pretty foolproof. I mean, unless you walk away from it and burn, you know, <laughs> your recipe, you really can't go wrong here. Remember, we've got the ham, we've got the smoked sausage, we've got the andouille, and we've got the chicken thighs. And we're going to let this cook. Make sure that the cook chicken is cooked through. And then I'm going to start adding my seasonings. And the beautiful thing about seasonings, what do they do? They add flavor to your food.
and this may appear like it's just basting in oil it's not it's going to be absorbed when we add the rice if you've never had jambalaya before it is a rice dish and I guess you could call it I don't want to say it's like Louisiana fried rice it's not fried rice it's kind of different really there isn't anything to compare it to now before I drop in these spices and herbs I'm going to um, I'm going to add my vegetables and they call it the Holy Trinity just a little bit of onion not a lot quarter of a cup of each little bit of celery little bit of green onion and of course a little bit of bell pepper not a whole lot and then we're going to put in some garlic and this is just finely chopped garlic uh, I put in probably about a teaspoon you can use more if you like garlic and we're gonna let this cook down and reduce It's popping, but I'm not going to let it get me. And we just want to cook our vegetables. We don't want them to turn golden just until they're cooked through. They may have a tiny bit of crunch, but not a lot. I call jambalaya the rice version of gumbo because it uses a lot of the same seasonings and it is a very flavorful really really flavorful rice dish So we're going to add our seasonings now. I've got in this little bowl basil, I've got some uh, oregano and some ground thyme. And there's about the thyme about a half teaspoon, the other two about a quarter teaspoon. But again, the recipe will be below the video. And I'm just going to take all of this and pour it in. I've got some white pepper. And I'm not gonna use quite all of the white pepper because I'm gonna tell you, I don't want it to be too spicy a little cayenne pepper and I'm not going to use quite all of that because as this cooks uh, we, and once it's almost done we'll season it again and the cumin all of that dry mustard black pepper and this is the gumbo filet yes the gumbo filet goes in our jambalaya absolutely I want to get all of that out of there all of that goodness and then I have bay leaves and really you should use two large bay leaves didn't have a large one but I've got two two little pieces down there and my parsley and that's probably about a tablespoon Alrighty, and we're going to, oh man, mix all these seasonings together with our meat. And you're going to notice that it's going to start to stick on the bottom. All those little bits of goodness, it's a good thing. And the last thing I'm going to add 
is going to be my rice. Now I've got two cups of rice here and I don't know that I want to use that much. Again, this recipe, this is something you'll learn how to throw it together. I'm going to use probably about a cup of rice, a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to mix everything together. And what I'm doing by doing this is I'm actually cooking the rice. You're going to see that it's going to turn opaque. And um, I'll show you in just a moment. And yes, it's going to pop. Don't let that frighten you. That's all a part of cooking. So I ended up using just over a cup of rice, maybe a cup and a quarter. And this recipe will serve, wow, again, probably, I want to say six to eight people, four really, really hungry people. And you see how the rice now it's turning really white and that's not a bad thing that's fine last we're going to add our stock and I'm going to start with uh, 32 ounces of uh, chicken stock and I'm going to pour it in And oh man, I wish you could smell this. It's amazing. And the rice is going to absor absorb all that liquid. So don't, you, I've got more to put in there, but I'm going to let this cook down. And we will get it all in there and then put the, put the Dutch oven lid on it and uh, let it cook. And I'm turning it up because I do want to bring it to a boil. And once we bring it to a boil, we're going to lower the heat, put the lid on and let it cook for about 25 minutes. And then we'll check it. Now, don't keep going back, taking the lid off and checking, taking the lid off and checking because that lowers the temperature. Okay, we're going to turn this heat down. You see it's bubbling right there. It's, it's boiling. We're going to turn the heat down to about medium, medium high, about medium. And then we are going to just let this cook. And that broth is going to be absorbed by the rice. Then we're going to add a little bit more broth and let it cook and it all together about 40 minutes 45 minutes so we're going to let that cook and um, we'll be back all right well let's see how it looks it's been on for about i let it go for another five minutes so about 30 minutes and so we're gonna see if i don't burn my hand here how it looks <gasps> wonderful now you see how the rice, it's not done yet, so we've got to give it another probably 15 minutes. But this is how your jambalaya should look. And of course, you can use a larger uh, uh, cast iron skillet or you can use your Dutch oven to make it. But we're going to let this keep going until every grain of rice is cooked and perfect. And so I'm going to put the top back on, put it on for another 15 minutes. And when we come back, it should be finished. Well, we're back for the final um, 15 minutes and the jambalaya is finished. And let me take the top off and voila. And it's this is one of those dishes if you don't like sausage if you don't like chicken substitute something else wonderful rice dish um, 
It can be, um, as I mentioned, uh, a main dish or a side dish. And well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right here and I'm going to take a little and uh, I want to say thank you for watching this video and make sure that you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, click the bell so you know when I have new videos and here we go. Take a taste.